Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of um, the 21st, October 21st through to the 27th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have the Ten of Swords upright, followed then by the Ace of Pentacles upright. Next we have Major Arcana, the Chariot in the upright, followed then by the uh, World card in the upright. And lastly, we have the Seven of Pentacles upright. All of your cards are in the upright position, including the Ten of Swords. <laughs> Capricorn just got this too. Ten of Swords is the last straw. That's really what it is. This is your central energy, uh, Aquarius. <clears throat> so this is something that could be on your mind this week or maybe it's it's playing out in a sort of long and drawn out fashion but the ten of swords upright can represent the last straw this is where okay there's nowhere else to go it's a ten it's the top of the ticket so there's no place else to go so this could be that perhaps for some of you this could be playing out at work it could be playing out um, in your neighborhood. It could be playing out in your family, with your friends group. It could be playing out in any fashion where it could be that somebody's um, disrespect that just keeps happening over and over and over again. You hit the pinnacle now. You, there's no place else to go. This is like, okay, well, we're done because the tens do represent the endings, right? So the, we're done with this. There is nothing more we can do. Now, it could be something as small as perhaps uh, a friend, a family member, a spouse, a co you know, co-worker, somebody is constantly needling you and um, giving you that sort of passive aggressive stuff where they keep throwing shots at you, pot shots. And it could be that you just get to the point where, you know what, I've had enough of this, um, this nonsense to others of you could be finding out that there's been stuff going on behind your back. And now all of a sudden it's come to light that this person has been doing this. So it's just like, oh, wow, okay, well, that's it. I'm done with that situation completely over. It's over. Tout fini. We're done. <laughs> so right at the beginning of the week, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position, which points to <coughs> new opportunities. It could be for wealth. Sometimes this can represent the golden opportunity. It could be that I've just found myself the most affordable apartment ever. I don't. I can't believe I've, I got this opportunity. Two, I found a great property that I can fix up and sell it, and it, you know it's going to make me money. Two, um, a small inheritance coming your way. There's all kinds of things that could be going on with the Ace of Pentacles. It d does represent a new start, a new beginning that comes to you out of the anti cosmos could be a job offer could be any way to make money maybe some of you felt stabbed in the back by a business partner and you've decided to go off on your own or it could be a job situation and you've just decided to take your chances with this new opportunity next card up is the cancer energy the chariot in the upright position well this is very black and white energy this is <clears throat> fast moving energy as well a lot of confidence look at the yellow in there that solar plexus activation feeling very very confident about the forward movement just don't steamroll over anyone's stuff because you're moving so fast in the chariot for some of you could get an, a new opportunity to purchase a vehicle maybe some of you are buying a new vehicle it could be that you get an opportunity to travel to take a trip because chariot can represent taking trips could be road trips or any kind of trips it could be an opportunity to travel somewhere maybe to make money um, it can be a great deal on a new vehicle like i said some of you could be purchasing an rv or a brand new um a brand new SUV or RV or any type. I mean, could be a motorcycle, could be anything like that. Maybe you're getting a good deal on it. So of course you're going forward with it, right? <coughs> Others of you could be getting a golden opportunity at a place, at a distance, right? And perhaps you're traveling there, but you know it's just basically a formality because you're a shoe-in, you will get this position. You know that you will uh, win the day, whatever's going on here. It's, it's a strong confidence. It's like, I've got this good backing here, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go towards it. I already know that it's going to work out for me. 
moving on towards the weekend, here comes the, your favorite card again, <laughs> Aquarius. You kept getting this, remember? The world card, completion. This is my graduation card. Some of you could be um, putting an end to something that's been long standing in your life. Now, this could be the place where you live. Sometimes I use the analogy of. Um, you lived in a house for many years. You raised your family there. Kids are all grown. You're empty nesters. And it could be time to sell that family home and downsize or just travel or do something completely different from what you've done before. This would be a closing out of a long-standing cycle. It could be signing divorce papers after a long-standing relationship marriage. But this isn't something that comes out of the blue. This is something that's already been in the works. This is just the final papers being signed. It can represent uh, retiring. It can be literal graduation. Some people are graduating from courses and things like that. Um, it can also represent on a smaller scale too, like maybe you had a habit or a ritual that you've done for many, many years and maybe you're giving that up. This could be a completion of a cycle. It's the end of an era. So something is definitely <laughs> the end of an era. Hopefully it's the end of this era. <laughs> wow. What can I say here, Aquarius? But something is going on here because this represents wrapping something up and ending. But so does the mere fact that the Ten of Swords is a ten. It does represent an ending. So you are wrapping something up. It could be a, a even like a, a career that you've done. Maybe you've been an accountant for the last, you know, 15, 20 years and you've decided to go and be an agent or do something else. You know what I mean? That could be, hey, I was this for a lot of years and now I'm doing this. So anything could be going on here. I'll leave it to you guys because this is a general read. So it's, you know, just apply it to your situation, whatever makes sense for you. And if you don't mind leaving a comment in the comment section below to let us know if this is resonating for you. And if you feel comfortable, do tell us how so. Last card you have is the Seven of Pentacles in the upright position, which is a card that represents um, reevaluating something. <clears throat> now, usually because it is Pentacles, it would be the practical things in our life. Some of you could be reevaluating your financial situation. You could be reevaluating how you make your money. You could be looking at stocks and investments and your investment portfolio and looking at how. Maybe like this isn't something where we're taking action just yet. This is just putting eyes on having a spotlight on something. It could be looking at the value of your home and the, the value of your business and even the work that you do. Is it really worth it for me to keep doing this? Even though it could have been a very, very um, lucrative career for you for a long time but it's like do i really want to continue investing my time and energy into this maybe i should think about moving towards something new and different aquarius is a fixed sign so fixed signs can sometimes get into ruts and into traps that we just like oh i just i'll just keep doing this without really putting a lot of thought into the fact that hey we could change you can change your life at any point <laughs> you know at any point if you're not happy with it you can look into i don't advise i never would advise anybody to just up and change in one day you need to start the ball rolling and process and it usually starts with the seven of pentacles right where we are looking at a situation realistically and looking to see what we can do and what we can change in order to bring about a positive positive change in our life and in closing i'm pulling a card from the wisdom oracle deck what do we have well the card just fell out for you here <laughs> yang number one so yin yang i guess you got to find your yin to your yang or yang to your yin whatever it is <laughs> it is your special message aquarius all right so i want to thank you very much for joining me and i really hope you have a fabulous fabulous week ahead and I also hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.